Hi guys, welcome to my digital finance, the place where you can be updated on all cryptocurrency news. Please do stay up to date to get your daily dose. Um, today, I'm going to take you through how to set up a Bitcoin wallet. We've been receiving a lot of, um, I guess, a lot of uh, requests from guests, I guess, first timers, people that have just joined the market on how to set up a Bitcoin wallet. A lot of them don't want to leave their money on the exchange. They've heard stories about how they've been hacked, etc. Especially if someone is looking to invest quite a lot. People that have got, you know, 80, 100, 200 Bitcoins just sitting there. It's a lot of cash to just leave on the open exchange. Um, and yeah, yeah, you are open to being hacked. So I'm going to show you one of the exchanges, actually, Bittrex, which is probably one of the most common exchange is probably the most easy to use um, exchange and one of the ones where you can buy Bitcoin off. So the, although this is a, an exchange you can you can buy Bitcoin off, you what we would advise, we're not financial advisors, you know, don't, don't take, take our word for it, do your own research, but we would advise that you don't keep your money on the exchange because again, you are open to being hacked. So some people that are very sophisticated in the market can get access to the open exchange, you know, and your, and your public addresses. Whereas what we would be advising in this video for a first step or a first timer, transfer that to a digital wallet, which is effectively acting as if it's your, um, your personal bank account, so to speak, for Bitcoin. You know, so it's a much, much safer. On the course, we do teach other um, cryptocurrencies such as NEO and, and other cryptocurrencies out there and the wallets and how you can find them, etc. But for the purpose of this video, we'll just be taking you through just Bitcoin. So please do stay plugged in if you want to know any more. Um, the reason why we want to keep it off exchanges is this story right here. Mt. Gox, which is probably the most famous uh, exchange, probably the most, most used exchange, you know, around 2013, 2014, was actually hacked for around 850,000 850, Bitcoins, which is worth millions. And they haven't been able to pay a lot of the investors back. So imagine if uh, you yourself are someone that has got 200 bitcoins you know on your um on your exchange you know you've bought it successfully it's increased in value you might even be making a huge amount of money but then you go back into login the next day and it's it's been taken there's it's not as if you can go to the police you know and open up an inquiry you know this is a cryptocurrency is very very unregulated at the moment so banks aren't really necessarily backing bitcoin governments aren't backing bitcoin because it actually takes business away from the banks at the moment it benefits you greatly but it doesn't do great deal for them they're now looking to create their own blockchain technologies but at this moment in time they haven't been able to regulate the market so that means that it's gone effectively you've just lost that money so a safest way to keep that from happening is to send that to your own local your own um your own personal bank account which is the digital wallet which we're going to be taking you through so the first step again uh, I'll, I'll just advise you please do pause the video at any stage you know if it's going too quickly and come back but please make sure you do watch to the end of this video if you are a first timer or someone that hasn't set up a bitcoin wallet before at the end of the by the end of this video you will know how to set up a bitcoin wallet um and be safe from all hackers so what you're going to do first is type in green address into um your local but i'm going to actually show you this site actually first just before we do that this is bitcoin.org where you can see which wallets are available for bitcoin so if you can look below there's actually a few Bitcoin Knots, Bitcoin Core, Green Address, ArcBit, BitGo, Electrum. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, as I just stated, we're going to focus on Green Address. Again, if you want to know a bit more, please do sign up to online courses and we can go through a few more. But for us, the one I use is Green Address. So again, type in Green Address into Google. And what you're going to look for is actually going on to the Google Chrome Web Store which is where you can purchase it. So again, it's gonna ask you to download Google Chrome if you don't have it, but if you do already have it, open up Google Chrome, type in green address and download the green address wallet. Once you've downloaded it, you can then add it to your taskbar, your desktop and pin it to your taskbar. So mine's already here. Um, I've actually logged into this one, so I'm gonna take you through the process of actually going through from beginning. So if I then open it up completely, this is the process you guys would be going through so again this is the front page you would be clicking on create new wallet now this is giving you a phrase so what i want you to first do is actually print screen this page and i'm going to tell you why i think i've actually done it on here but what we're going to do is open up a new one for you as well 
I'm going to show you from start to finish. The reason why you want to open up a new, um, you want to save this thing as well. I'll take you through what hackers do at the moment. So if you've got a password on Facebook, on anything you've ever done in the past, eBay, you know, most people tend to use one word and then a phrase. Oh, right, one word and then a, uh, and then a number or a phrase and then a number. You know, that's what we've been told has been you know, the safest way and make sure one of the words is a capital. And it's not actually true because hackers are so sophisticated at the moment that because there's only so many words in the dictionary, because there's so many numbers that can be used, most of them being one to 30 because people use a date uh, in, in, in the diary, a date in terms of a birth date to, to remind them. It's not very hard to hack. As long as you've got a robot that can suss out, it's got recorded, it's got a recording of every single number created in every single word in the dictionary. It only takes a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes to actually hack into your emails, etc. So what this does, as you can see, it gives you a whole list of words, phrases, randomly in a line. So what we're going to do, we've saved that. I want you to then come back and highlight that area. Again, pause at any moment. If you need me to slow down or, or want to catch up, you're then going to paste that here. So you've print screen first, and then you're going to paste the actual words underneath just to check I've got the right ones. Quality goes first, time goes last. So I know I've got every word. Then what we're going to do is go back in. You're going to click, I confirm that my passphrase is saved and secured. I agree with the terms and services. So you're then going to hear that sound, which means you're in. You can scan a QR code as well, but for the purpose of this um, video, we're just going to go through the phrase. Now, this is why it's really difficult to be hacked. I'm just um, moving everything over to make it easier for you to see. And this one as well, if I can minimize them, I put them together. Now, what this is asking you to do is actually take specific words and put them in order. So I'm sure you've logged online before and it's um, Google or something's asked you to prove that you're not a robot. And you've had to click on different pictures, uh, you know, vehicles, etc. This is a similar process. This is why a robot can't hack into the system. It's very difficult for a robot to say precisely in order every single word where it goes and the specific words for the sixth, the fifteenth, the nineteenth, and the twenty-fourth word, which makes it very, very secure. So I'm going to start. I know this word is after blood, so I can see that's rack. The next one's after cabin, which is absorb. Next one is after empower, which is rail. And the next one's after unknown, it's the last word, which is time. Once you've typed them all in, click verify. You're then going to be asked to put in your email. So I'm going to put in one here. Email.com. Actually, I think four. And then click continue. What you can do further than that is obviously add in your phone number etc as well but for the purpose of this video i'm just going to put in my email and then you've got to create a pin number now what i would advise is that you don't pick uh, a pin number that is like your that's linked to your card or anything let me expand this just so you can see so don't pick a pin number that's that's your card i'm going to pick one no, that's quite difficult, but I'm going to remember it. I know I'm going to remember it just so I can remember it. I'm going to type it in again. I know I'm going to remember that. You know, it says here, access by PIN allows a quick login while keeping security to a high standard. The PIN secures a random AES 256-bit password, which will delete if three PIN attempts fail. So please do not forget this number. Very, very important. Ready for step three. You are now in. This is how easy it is to set up an online personal account so to speak for um for bitcoin this is literally your, your bank account so you can see on the left here the amount of transactions you've gone through obviously for now it'll be zero you haven't had any you can see how to send bitcoin how to receive it your address book which will record all the all of the people that you've sent to um and you've received from settings now we're going to go to settings to change this to bitcoin we don't want that and also to well for me living in the uk it's going to be pounds so again you go to settings address book underneath that settings general and you can change it all here english you can go further down 
and change a few things in terms of the confirmation priority. We're going to leave it as normal, but just have a look around security, your accounts. What we're going to show you how to do, if I go back to the main page, it's now changed it here to bitcoins and the pounds I'm going to be receiving. Now, if you've got money on an exchange or even further than that, someone wants to send you Bitcoin, you're going to click the receive button here and you're going to then click the show URI and address. This is going to give you this here. This is what we're interested in, not the URI, but the address. This here highlighted, if I copy, that is literally your bank account number and your sort code, the same way that you'd work in the physical currency world, you would send that to somebody and they can then deposit into your, into your account. It's the same way in the crypto space. It's just encrypted with different you know, numbers and letters, et cetera, capitals, et cetera. That is your bank account and sort code. You can never, ever lose that. Most important thing you'll be sending to someone. If one letter is missing, you know, there's a capital instead of a lower case, it's not going to send to your wallet. So you want to copy that and make sure it's copied, take a picture and send it to the person you've got that wants to be receiving it on their computer now on the other side how they would send to you or if you were sending to somebody and you had their bank account number and sort code you would have their address you would put their address in the recipient's area here and you would put the amount of bitcoin you want to send if it's five it tells you the amount you're going to be sending in pounds three thousand thirty thousand six hundred and twenty sorry wow bitcoin's really booming now i think it's around eight thousand five hundred dollars it's just gone past um, so which is yet six thousand one hundred twenty four pounds here the rate so you might not know the amount of big the amount of bitcoins you want to send you might know in pounds the amount you have it might be three thousand pounds again you can write in the pounds and it will transfer the amount of bitcoins relevant to you would then click review and send for me I don't have enough money I've got no money in my my account I've just set up someone would have to be sending this to me and it would then be recorded in my account. It would take about five minutes to come through, 10 minutes sometimes in Bitcoin, but it'd be here. Now, I'm gonna to talk to you about priority. How you send Bitcoins is through, the miners are really the ones that are gonna be verifying you know, your, your, your process. So on here, on green address, this tells you the priority you can send at. So similarly to in the, in the I guess in the physical currency world, you know, you, you send it across. In, in Bitcoin, it, it's done by the miners. So there's minimal fees. I mean, in eBay, imagine selling something on eBay, but it, you selling directly to the buyer without any eBay fees. That's literally the easiest way to describe what Bitcoin is. There's no fees. There's no middleman. It's direct peer-to-peer. -peer. You know, you're selling directly to the person. So that means that there's either zero fees or you can have minimal fees. Now, to get your... If I go on high priority or instant, I want this sent really, really instant. You know, it's urgent that it gets sent. Maybe I've got to send money to another country and they need it right away. This is more attractive to the miners to verify my request. I go to the top of the list because it means I'm going to pay them a little bit more. Not a lot. It's going to still be pence, maybe into the pounds. It's not going to be as it's never nearly as, as expensive as eBay, PayPal, you know, the banks, what they charge. But it just means I can get to the top of the list. If I don't care about how long it's going to take, you know, it can take 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I can click economy priority. You know, it goes further down the list, but it's going to be it's going to be paid. And that might be zero pounds. It might be, you know, and very, very minimal. But I'm going to leave it on normal for now. Where, again, you can change that is in settings. I believe in transactions, you can then appear here. Do I want high priority, lower priority, economy priority, just to make sure how fast it gets sent. Um, that's literally it. That's how you manage your personal bank account. Then you're gonna see the transactions again in here. To send, you would need the person's address and you would write in the amount you wanna send and click the priority, how, how quick you want it to send it, receive. You would have to send somebody your address, you'd have to copy this code. It can change sometimes as well, um, you know, over, over a few months just to keep it safe. So always, always don't just think that that's the same code for the last, you know, for the next next year or the, how long you have it. Please always go into your green address and copy the actual address that's there to send to be to be safe. Address book that will record the amount the, the the bank accounts or what, from what bank accounts, what other green address wallets or other wallets have sent to you and also who you've sent to to record them um settings again you can run through there and have a look i'm then going to log out and now all it's going to ask for is not that phrase but just my my pin to log back in and i'm back in so don't forget that pin guys
been a pleasure teaching you today. Hope it's been helpful. Um, keep up to date with online courses. So if you want to learn a little bit more about the courses, obviously, um, stay tuned. So I believe the, the link will come up below how to stay tuned, how to set up a wallet. There's a beginner's course, an intermediate course, an advanced course. We teach you everything that we know from how to set up wallets and exchanges, technical analysis, to everything you want to know in the Bitcoin space to make you as successful as possible and start building uh, a portfolio. Uh, we've also got a free ebook, which is out at the moment. So please go and download that. I believe the link will come up below as well. That will also help people that are beginnings just coming into the market and want to know a little bit more and improve your knowledge in the space. I um, hope this has been helpful and uh, I'll see you on the next video. See you soon.